Hello everyone, some time ago I made a video about the dwarves who steal your boat on the Isle of Mists, you know, where we find Ciri. Well, in that video I didn't actually show where they're located, I only showed the conversations. And since then, a lot of people have asked about the location, so I'm making this video now to kind of rectify my mistake. First off, in order to even get the chance to meet them again, you need to get what I called back in the day the best ending. It's the one where Ciri becomes a witcher. So during this ending, you'll first go to the Nilfgaardian camp to meet a swordsmith, Master Ort, I believe, who gives you Ciri's new sword. After that, you have to go and find the dwarves. I assume most people do not end up meeting them um, because they do one of two things. Either one, they just fast travel from the Nilfgaardian camp to the inn where Ciri is, or two, they follow the quest marker which leads you down one of two possible roads between the camp and Ciri, but the dwarves are actually on the opposite road. So just follow that one and right about the middle you'll get a scene where you meet one of them, he'll run away, you have to follow him to the camp and once there you can start your conversation. However, you will be interrupted by the witch hunters. You'll then get the chance to give the dwarves up which will make it impossible for you to hear the Gontaro Dim easter egg uh, and also to get a share, potentially, of their profits. Of course, you also have the choice to deceive the witch hunters and act like the dwarves aren't there, which allows you to continue your conversation and it is in this second part of the conversation where you hear a mention of Master Mira. Right, so that was it. I will now play all possible outcomes of your meeting with the dwarves um, if you choose to continue watching. If not, Thank you very much for watching up until this point, feel free to check some of my playlists in the description or any videos around my channel and until the next one, stay tuned and be good. Alright, out. How was your trip? Smooth sailing? You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? <laughs> You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. It was so late in that boat, we barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours, still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you. Plough you soapless while you slept off a bender. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the gods' names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn a coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors now. Investors. They've come for us! Hide! Huh? What's going on? You've not seen us? The dwarves. Where are they? Dwarves? Don't feign ignorance. We've been after them since yesterday. After they stole the Reverend McKellis' golden chalice. Anyone aiding criminals will be subject to punishment by the Holy Tribunal of the Eternal Fire. Who's this Reverend McKellis? A traveling preacher. A saintly man anointed by the Hierarch himself. He's purged thousands of souls already. By, uh, purging you mean the cleansing fire of the stake? <laughs> you know of another way. That a threat? Don't like your tone, mutant. Will you force me to teach you respect for those who serve the eternal fire? Give it a shot. I want him alive! Alive! Fucking butcher! Anyone aiding criminals will be subject to punishment by the Holy Tribunal of the Eternal Fire. Dwarves are hiding in the bushes. I knew it! Eternal Fire reward you. Get him! I can't believe it! Bloody horse and witcher! Wonder if they'll catch them. 
Anyone aiding criminals will be subject to punishment by the Holy Tribunal of the Eternal Fire. No dwarves here. Mean to say this is your camp? Five tankards, five saddles. All yours. Been tracking these dwarves for a while. About two days ahead of me now. They abandoned this camp in a hurry. Something must have scared them. Hmm. Could be they heard about Reverend McKellis's ire. Let's go. A new mutant. Better not get in our way. Oh, thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirrority, was it? Uh, funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you. We would, but... But you look like one who just frown in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. I don't want your coin. <laughs> look at him, all offended. You think we showed him a picture of a naked lass? Witcher's got their creed. No stealing, no pinching wenches at the tavern, and no assaulting travellers. We make exceptions, for travellers especially. Uh, oh, uh, farewell, Witcher. Won't say no to friends. Actually, I'll gladly take some of that coin. Witcher's ethics. Pugh! World's going to shite. Least we nicked his dinghy. Place of power. Should draw from it.